Ladies and gentlemen, once again welcome back to our channel and today's presentation is on COBOL inspect statement. Before I start with today's presentation, I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel. Today's presentation is divided into three different sections. First one is introduction to COBOL inspect statement. Second one is syntax detail. Third one is examples where I'll explain how exactly you can use COBOL inspect statement in your COBOL program. And I'm sure after completing this presentation, you can very well use COBOL inspect statement for various string manipulation operations in your COBOL program. So let's begin our presentation with introduction. String manipulation is an integral part of any programming language and in fact most of the time you have a requirement to concatenate, split, extract or replace certain characters in a string. And most of the programming language have a set of functions to perform string manipulation. Similarly in COBOL also you have many functions that can be used for string manipulation and in this video we'll talk about inspect statement which is primarily used to count and replace characters within a string and COBOL inspect statement has four different variants. So the first one is basic inspect clause, then you have inspect with telling clause, the third one is inspect with replacing clause and the last one is inspect with converting clause. So we'll discuss all these uh, uh, format one by one with example for better understanding. Now let's move on to uh, the next section which is a detailed explanation of uh, COBOL inspect syntax. So COBOL inspect statement is fairly simple and easy to understand. So if you look at the right hand side of the screen, you'll find the syntax uh, which is simplified for explanation purpose. So the inspect statement start with an inspect keyword followed by a identifier one. So here you need to specify the variable on which you want to perform the operation or which is holding the string. The next keyword is telling followed by an identifier that is a variable name. So telling is actually used to count a specific character in that particular string. Other keywords for example all, leading, before, after, initial followed by variable name. So these are actually additional options for example if you want to count the number of spaces after a specific character. So you'll be using inspect variable name telling variable name for all leading spaces and on similar terms you have COBOL inspect with replacing clause and you have COBOL inspect with converting clause and you can use this option in order to convert or replace any character in the string. Now let me quickly reiterate a couple of important points before moving to the example section. So the point number one is that in case if you want to count the number of uh, character in a specific string then you can use inspect with telly option. In case if you want to replace any specific character in a string then you can use inspect with the replacing clause. Remember that you can use uh, uh, alphabetic, alphanumeric or numeric data types but the numeric should be with usage as display. It should not be COMP, COMP3, right? And the last point is that you can very well use inspect clause with telling and replacing option to count and replace character in a specific string. So now let's move on to the next section which is actually a detailed explanation of each and every variant in form of an example. Now let's look at all these examples one by one and I would like to highlight that this is not an actual program. In fact it is just a snippet of, a, of an actual program so that you can understand things in a very clear and precise way. So the first example is uh, an example of COBOL inspect statement with replace option. Right. So what I've done is I've just declared a variable called ws-date which is actually holding your date that is 10-11-2020 right and in the procedure section procedure division you have a paragraph called main section so you there I've just used the inspect statement so that says inspect ws-date replacing all hyphen by forward slash. So the output of this particular statement would be that my date would will going to have forward slash despite of hyphens. Right? 
So now let's move on to the next example that is Kobol inspect with telling option. So in this example I have used uh, two variables in working storage section. First one is WS hyphen name which is actually holding a name called David space Murphy and the next variable is WS hyphen count that will store uh, the number of spaces in that particular string. So now let's look at the procedure division and the section it says inspect WS hyphen name telling WS count for all spaces. The output of this statement would be the count of uh, spaces in this particular string. Right? Now let's move on to example number three that is COBOL inspect with replacing option and in this case I am using uh, a replacing option in order to replace uh, letter D with small letter D. So if you see uh, the variable that is WS hyphen name it is actually having a name that is David space Murphy and in this case you have two letter D in the David. So what it does is it will replace the second letter because I'm using after initial D. So after initial D whatever letter D it will encounter it will replace that with small letter D. Now let's move on to example number three which is inspect with converting option and in this case what I'm doing is that I'm converting the entire name into small letters. So if you see what I've done is I've used COBOL inspect uh, the variable name WS hyphen name converting and I've given all the alphabets uh, in quotes that is A to Z and then I've specified the corresponding uh, small alphabets A to Z right and the output is David space Murphy and all in lowercase. So ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our today's presentation and in case if you have any questions then please do write that in comment section and I would request you all that uh, please leave your feedback so that I can include your feedback in my next video. Apart from that I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel and if you are looking for a couple of more videos on string unstring and other functions like reference modification data type then please do visit our youtube channel and you'll find all the videos out there so once again ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and stay safe